I left my knife. One second. Hey, y'all, I'm cooking. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to get on and just say hello while I'm doing my thing. How are you? It's been so challenging for me to get on camera of late because I have so many moving parts going on in my life. Hey, y'all. I hope everybody's been good. Hey, Joseph. Man, like, I've been working, okay? Hey, girl, Mama Purvis, how are you? What up, y'all? I'm just dropping in. I'm cooking. I'm about to make some gumbo, okay? And I'm kind of, I'm, 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 I'm cheating because I'm not making the roux tonight. I'm doing a pre- <laughs> A pre-prepared roux, okay? Look, pre, pre yeah, pre-prepared roux. I'm breaking my fast. I'm doing Ramadan right now. I'm practicing it. And so you, you stop eating at sun up and you start eating at sundown. And as the days progress, because we're moving into summer, it's getting more and more time on the clock. You feel me? So I'm looking forward to this. I might do a little snacking on my dry mango. Hey, y'all, what's up? Welcome, how's everybody doing? I know it's been a minute since I've been on here. Mm. Thank you, Nate. That was my mm, second morsel tonight. Oh my gosh, today. And it's good. Mm. 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 Hey, Lisa. What up? So, I've already made like my salad, okay? And I'm gonna add some um, avocado. Doesn't it look so good? Mm, 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 mm. It looks super fresh. And then I'm gonna put some um, some celery. I forgot my knife though. Hold on. And yes, I'm gonna do um, shrimp gumbo tonight. Yep. I have a pescatarian diet and I will swerve with some seafood every now and again. So I'm looking forward to it. I haven't had some gumbo in a minute. I was like, I want that right now. So I did some good intermittent fasting, you feel me? And now I get to do some good eating. Okay. I know, right? And it looks so fresh, the avocado. Hey, Jorday, what's up, baby? It's good to see your name in the chat. I'm in here trying to act like I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm, I'm about to quit playing with y'all and put on my grown woman eyes. Thank you. Thank you. That's another thing I've been doing, Jordae. I've been nesting. Um, because I've spent so much time on the road last year, there were so many ideas I had for my spot. You know, I've only been here uh, a couple years. I just made a couple years. And... Um, I haven't been able to put my creativity fully into the space. And so now I'm like, I got some time, you know? So I'm like spending time nurturing me and nurturing uh, my space. I love having a, um, a nice home to come back to, like a nice um, place that, that kind of hugs me when I come back because I really don't spend a lot of time in the streets unless I'm traveling, which is a lot. So I want to come back to a space that feels comfortable and feels like I landed in a place that is, is for me. You feel me? Oh, thank you, Nate. I appreciate that. At, are the home up? Oh, I can't wait to show you, Mama. Yes, I just put in some floating shelves. I got a, some more, another shelf coming in. I got some corner molding coming in. I bought some trinkets for the wall. Like, I don't know if I if I want to show y'all all of that, but I'm so excited about that. And I got some partitions put in. Your girl been, you feel me? Um, the home decor has been on tilt of late, straight up. Who else is doing some home improvement? Is that Elfstro Media? I was about to say, what's popping? What's popping? How's everybody been doing? How y'all feeling about, about the world right now? Like, do you feel like it's wilding out? Are you afraid of what's to come? Do you feel encouraged by what's to come? Are you confused by all the stuff that's going on right now? Like, am I making a salad? No, I'm making, um, some I'm cutting up some bell pepper and I put, got some corn I got some celery I'm gonna put it in my gumbo okay I'm about to have some flavors up in this joint that's one thing I do like to uh, do is cook with flavor and color because uh, as my father told me whenever you cook with color it can make the person that's eating it think that the food tastes better okay I know right 
Thank you, Angel. I'm gl I'm just trying to be seen. How about that? It's been uh, so challenging to get on uh, camera of late while I'm trying to like give some time to myself and to my space. And I've got creative endeavors on deck that I've been working on and just like, woo, you know, but who, who else isn't out there multitasking and, you know, um, doing what they can to make things happen. You said totally lost is crazy, out of balance, need to find my people. <sighs> well, the fact that you even put in the request like that, I think you're going to start attracting them. If you don't mind, who are your people? And like, you know, and I guess I'll find that out by you telling me what feels out of whack to you. Where do you feel we need to find balance? No judgment here, okay? There's no right or wrong answer. Just a space of expression and a space where critical thinking can be done and stretched thinking can be done. I'm not stuck in a box. Um, if anything, I'm an outlier, Okay, I don't I don't think uh, along the status quo with everybody else just because it's the thing to do or people are afraid to think otherwise. You know what I'm saying? Now, I might not express all of the things that I might have to say, but it is not that I am not doing my own critical thinking and have my own thoughts about it. Let's see. Christine, what's up, girl? Says, hey, Miss Rona, I'm on vacation for three weeks. Good for you now and also working on my house garden next month. I know you are like serious, uh, seriously handy, Christine. I remember when you were making renovations years ago. You were crushing it. If I could be as gangsta as you, I would. I remember before my dad passed away, one of my goals was to uh, put a floor in with him because my dad was like a renaissance man. He could cook, he could bake, he could sew chaps, okay? He was a cowboy. He could... Um, Re uh, renovate and remodel homes like so much stuff he was so gifted or talented skilled in that way he used to read uh engineer books just just for kicks and giggles right and then he would take it and apply it super smart man so i wanted to learn how to lay in floors but that didn't happen so let's see um you mama purvis said i'm worried about this world my son is an active duty Marine and he's deploying soon. Really, really sorry about that. Well, you know what? Uh, let me say this. Sorry about that in the sense that you're a mom and I can understand how unnerving that could be. And I'm not a mom and I already know how that could be unnerving for me. And I care about people. I have nieces and nephews, right? But being a mother, gotta take it to a whole other level. But you know one thing I always say that I just choose to rely on? is that no matter what it looks like, everything is working for my highest good. And I would keep claiming that over that situation like nobody's business. And then sometimes when you do that, um, your perspective can open up for what else is good in the situation, what else you can gain, what else uh, could the situation be showing you or telling you or allowing your son to experience in order to come into the fullness of who he has the capability of being, you know? So no matter what it looks like, Everything is always working for my highest good. And then I see how that thing play out. Straight up. Lisa says, uh, here's how I'm feeling. I want to buy land with whoever else wants to and live off the grid, growing our own food and educating our children. Let me tell you something. Growing your food, it's been like kind of tossed around, you know, but I really think... Urban gardening, y'all, pick up a book. Also pick up a survival book, pick up a survival kit. You just never know what you might need and how um, that type of information could be extremely handy um, and necessary uh, if ever you need it. And then it's just good to just kind of like not always rely on something or someone else to have to pull you out of something or to use your hands, stay, stay physical, keep your hands in the earth, learn, learn how to grow your um, nutrients for your body. You just never know when that information could be extremely useful. You feel me? So preparation, not to say you got to be afraid. It's just like, you know, what's another skill I can pick up? What's another bit of information that can help me to sustain this life in the way that I would like to sustain it? You know, education. Um, and there are a lot of people who are developing land now for that reason. All these tiny homes and RV uh, homes and stuff like that. People are like going in with that and creating their own sustainable communities, you know? And can you imagine if you go and learn some of these traits 
and skills, trades and skills, how you could be a benefit to the community like that. Like really, really benefit the collective because you've educated yourself in some way and you can provide that particular skill or understanding for the uh, community. Dope. Let's see. Jorde says, me too. I want to live off the la off land and want to invest in tiny sufficient homes. There it is. That's like been the trend. Um, but I think a lot of people are doing it too because they just don't know, you know, what's next and they want to be mobile or they don't want to have too much overhead so that they can uh, pivot, right? Can pivot, baby. Protect your son. Thank him for a sacrifice. Beautiful, Lisa. Diva says, hi, tell, give Diva a pat for me, Christine. My screen locked up and I'm sad. I'm missing out, going to come out and come back in. Okay, okay, Mama Purvis. Hey, Eric Ward, what up? I haven't seen that name in a minute. What's poppin', brother? What's poppin'? What else did everybody else eat tonight? Who cooked? Who not a cook in here? Is that my hubby in here? <laughs> hey, Ilala, what's poppin'? How you doing out there? Good to see your name in the spot. Let's see, Anthony, I know, right? I know, I know. He said now he want gumbo and I'm about to put my ankle in it cause somebody else put their foot in it. Hopefully a clean foot. But you feel me? I'm about to um, add my little stuff to it and um, how the flavors popping, how the house smelling good. I got my music in the background, and I was like, I'm gonna come on and say hi to y'all. Let me see what y'all talking about. Gardening, garden is the best. That's what I wanna do. I do, um, thanks Nate for the um, feedback. Thank you, Melanie. I just got these glasses, aren't they cute? I'm about to have me a whole bunch of uh, glasses. I got some ones, they're, they're green. I got some red ones, I got some yellow ones. I'm about to turn spring out, okay? Spring is about to be the home. For real. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, okay. Hey, I am Louie Charles. How are you, darling? I'm not a cooker, just spaghetti. All right. <laughs> not a cook, don't hate, ordered pizza. Hey, was it good though? What kind of pizza? I'm from Chicago. You know we had a pizza uh, debate. New Yorkers always trying to say they got good pizza. I'm here to tell you, I'm not a fan. It's just pizza. <laughs> Shout out to the Chi Town Pizza. Okay. What's up? Hey, Ashley. Brother, what's going on? I know how to cook. I mainly cook vegetables. Good. I cook eggplant, spinach, cabbage, and mixed vegetables. What kind of um seasoning you put on that, Nate? Let me see if I need to incorporate some of your, your swag. What kind of seasoning do you put into your vegetables like that? r and <laughs> what you know about it, Anthony? Shout out to the, to the throwback. I uh, made an album, I wanna say R&B Gumbo. Sheesh. Back in 2010? Well, when was that? When was that? And I never released that record. I poured all that resource all that effort, all that creativity, and I didn't release it. I had my reasons for not doing it. But I have, I'm have i sitting on like a whole album of songs people have never heard. It's crazy. Crazy, crazy. Everett, how are you, darling? Good to see you. I just watched a performance of you from the Mickey Mouse Club. <laughs> Shout out to the throwback. You like Chicago pizza? All right, we still cool, Ashley. <laughs> you wish the pizza was from Chicago? Me too, for you, Melody. Angel said, this month is three years since my cancer diagnosis. Just happy to be alive. I heard that. I, uh, to help my young relatives. Unfortunately, parents aren't very competent like they once was. Oh, my goodness. Angel. Yes, I'm happy you're alive too, darling. What would you say has been your... Um, how have you grown the most since you've uh, gotten that diagnosis? What, what's been your biggest growth point or growth place for you? Really interested in hearing that. I put onion powder, Italian seasoning, oregano leaves. Ooh. Do you put any type of salt and pepper or Bragg's liquid aminos or anything like that? Or you just let the herbs do what they do? Nate. Garlic powder and a little salt. Okay, a little salt and tomato sauce. Nice. Nice. All right. Let me find out. 
Lisa says, going to join my family and watch the rest of the Hey, enjoy that, darling. So good to see you. And congratulations on your business. Everybody check her out. LCN Company. I got um, the screensaver from her company. I love it. Uh, it's so like, it's, it's customizable. So for example, I got something that got the PPU colors, my coaching school on it. And then it has a customizable folder. So all the stuff you have on your desktop, you can drag them into these cute folders. She has one where it's like a, um, a mantle and you got books on the mantle and you can put your file folders in the books on the mantle. So you don't even see them on your screensaver. Super dope idea. So I love it. Check it out, LC and Company. And um, she also has jewelry that I can't wait till she comes out with. She's killing it with some resin. I don't know if you guys are familiar with that, but she's taking resin to another level. So I'm waiting on the jewelry to come out, hint, hint. <laughs> but check her out. That's my girl, Lisa, you know? And I would, I'm not bigging her up just because she's the homie. She actually produces some really quality stuff. And I have a high appreciation for that. So, uh, Giord yeah, Giordano's is cool. It's cool. There's a couple like more, um, what do you call it? Like corner, not corner joints, but like city places that aren't as popular that I think are just as good, if not better in some instances. So you can check that out. Like one of them is in the, in the suburbs and it's called Beggar's Pizza. Love, love. And there's another one called Aurelio, Aurelio's Pizza and that's pretty good too. So, you know, it's kind of local stuff, but it's good. I love you back, Lisa, you're the bomb. Wendy, Wendy, how are you? Wendy is the most amazing designer, period. And she made my wedding dress for um, my wedding in September. And I'm like, I appreciate you so much. She makes our outfits for In Vogue. Like, Wendy's the bomb. Wendy is the bomb. Check her out. Studio Unbiased. I know her name isn't up there, but Wendy is amazing. She has made outfits for some of your favorite people on the planet. Okay? Amazing. Angel says, a cancer diagnosis just makes me realize how short life is and make more of a priority to avoid foolishness. Hello. Uh, more appreciation for life, respect for time. I heard that. We're making some magic. I know. I can't wait to see it. I can't wait to see it. Wendy, I got a suggestion too. I've been meaning to reach out to you for something I want to um, put together. I'm inspired. So I got to remember to reach out to you for that. Let's see. Um... That's a beautiful takeaway. That's a beautiful, beautiful takeaway. Angels. Hi, just ballsy. <laughs> so I just wanted to come on here and say what's up, y'all. I know I haven't been on here. I will call you, Wendy. Um, I haven't been on here in a minute. And it's been so challenging for me because I'm like... Right? And then I want to just nest in like cocoon because I know I'm about to power up and go hard in the paint again. I'm still going hard in the paint behind the scenes, but hard in the paint in front of the scenes, you know? So um, it's coming, but I just want to drop in and say hi. I'm about to start turning on my water and adding all of the delicious things. I know you are. I hope you're enjoying it. January. Hey, lady. Good to see you in here. Good to see you in here. I'm about to hop off before I before I start making a mess of things. So I'm glad everybody's okay. <laughs> I'm glad everybody's okay. I'm sending love to all of you. And I'll see you again soon. I'm powering up to get back out here, okay? Have a great evening, y'all. Bye.